the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of We just finished having lunch and I'm out here walking back to the swather. I just noticed how tall some of this is. I am 5'11 and some of this is up to my chin. That's insane. We definitely did not have crops like this last year so this is actually amazing to be able to get something like this this year. I do see some grasshoppers and mosquitoes are definitely present but overall a really nice field that we're actually really lucky to have right now. So my dad's plan here 
since we seeded a couple of different varieties, there's one piece here and then the other piece here. The plan is to leave those strips in the field until they can be combined and then we're gonna combine them and our plan is to see the different yield weights from the two different varieties. Now I can't remember what they are right off the top of my head. One is just um, a regular one and then there's a hybrid. I'll try to put them on the screen somewhere if I remember to ask my dad but he wants to see what the yield difference is and then based on that I think we're gonna be picking what we use from then on. So a little bit of a a test going on with the rye, but it's time for me to keep cutting, so let's go. <laughs>
So we just got done covering the silage pit. I'm just hanging out with my little buddies here. <laughs> yes, you frontier. So we got uh, almost 90 loads into that silage pit and about four tons to the acre from what I heard the guys talking about, which is pretty good. We're happy with that. We've got a full silage pit now. So hopefully the next couple of silage pits also yield a similar or more. <laughs> I forgot to kind of tell you guys how to tell these two apart. Trailblazer has a bigger splotch on his head and Frontier has the smaller splotch on his head. So yeah, we were only busy with that silage pit for about one day and finished everything around 8.30, I think it was, so yeah. So here's Rosetta, little lady that injured herself. She's still not on the foot. Like she's holding it very tenderly. And I know some people were saying that it was broken, but I felt, unless it's a hairline fracture, but I doubt it. I've felt all the way up and down the leg and I can't feel any sort of a break. I just think it's a massive sprain because she did cut herself, like it was bleeding. And that's why it's swollen. My horse last year had a really similar injury, but on her hind leg, and she was also really tender on that. And it's because the skin is aggravated, everything is sore, it's swollen, so it's harder to move generally just because of the swelling. So she's on medication to help keep that down and under control, but She's eating a lot and she's drinking, so she's not giving up, so neither am I. Right, girly? And she's not as tame as my other ones. That's about all she'll let me do. So working with her is a little bit of a challenge, but I'm confident that through working with her through the injury, she will get tamer, which... Maybe it's a blessing in disguise, but yeah, so as it is right now, Rosetta looks like she's on the mend. <laughs> Hi, Roxy. Yeah. So I think that's going to be it for today's video guys. It's been a long one and I am ready to shower and go to bed. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and share with a friend and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.